Dr. Bentley? Well, I kind of just threw myself into it. There wasn't really much to do except remember back to the 80s, which was our childhood. So that was easy. And just sort of getting into the, as far as the character, was just sort of, it was all discovery anyway, because the whole life was something she'd never experienced before. So it wasn't a lot of, you know, people have asked, did I sit down with wives and did I sit down with groupies? And it's like there wasn't really anything to ask them because it's supposed to be more of a discovery, you know, of this world, which was quite a surprise, <laughs> I must say. Your character in the film is the most down-to-earth person. Mm -hmm. um, are you the same in, in real life? I think so. <laughs> You'd have to ask all my friends. But I believe I am pretty much the same. Probably more boring than that, I would say. You know, in, um, in Rockstar, uh, Chris rises to fame very, very quickly. Mm -hmm. And um, in, your, in your life, in your career, it didn't go that fast. Mm -mm. Do you think that gives, that gives your success more substance? When it's harder, yeah. Well, I think like anything, if it comes too easy, it, there's less... Uh, a lesser appreciation for it, and I think anything like anything, when you work hard for something and you achieve it, you know, you are grateful. You know, and, and not to say that people who have it fast aren't grateful, uh, and I'm sure it's just a different experience. But um, I don't know how it would be if it had it happened for me quicker. You know, it might have been the same. I might, st but I don't know. You got married about a year ago or so. Mm. You were sort of living under the media glare. Mm. Um, how, how, how boring does that get? Pretty, well, as boring as it is for you guys reading it, that's how boring it is for us living it. Yeah, no, it's boring. Come on, it's boring. I mean, how many shots can they get of two people going and doing grocery shopping or something, you know, or driving somewhere? It just becomes boring. But again, it's just filler. But how do you deal with the intrusion? You have to just sort of accept it. You have to surrender to it and sort of uh, fight it as much as you can and draw your boundaries um, and not let them get away with everything that they think they can. So sometimes it's just a bit hairy and sometimes it's... And some days you're better handling it. Sometimes you don't even notice them and sometimes you just drag them wherever you... If they, on a Sunday afternoon, they want to waste their day and drive around doing nothing. If they have nothing better to do in their lives, then so be it. <laughs> um, did, did Brad give you any advice to play this, to play this role? Um, well, you know, there's all sorts of, I can't say he sat down and gave me advice, but he definitely um, talked me through just sort of her sensibilities, you know, and, and which we kind of, I figured out sort of anyway, which was just not knowing, because there wasn't much of a part there, so I didn't know how to elevate it or make it something, you know, I didn't know what its purpose was, except that once I figured out that she was sort of, you know, I mean, once we developed the character, because there was really nothing at first, and then she sort of became the, the audience's perspective, you know, and sort of the... Um, and it was just be strong, and it was sort of... Because so, I always think I look at her, and I, and I love how she handles her sort of certain situations, I love how she handles herself more than I feel like I could actually handle myself in those situations, but something always to strive for. What do you think of, what do you think of Mark? What do you think of the way he portrayed his character and, and what does he like to work with? Oh, he's just so good. I mean, he's such a good actor. He's so committed. He's just great. He's phenomenal. I love watching him and I love working with him. He just takes care of you. Great. Uh, do you, um, are you and Brad going to be doing a film together anytime soon? Not that I know of, anytime soon. <laughs> um, what, how are the roles that are coming to you? Um, are they changing or are you getting? Uh, well, they have, um, I mean, for the most part, they're, you're across the board romantic comedy, which is fine. And then there are some that are, since I did this, just did this movie called The Good Girl, which was an independent film and a lot darker than what I'm used to doing. Stuff, different things have been coming since that happened, so that's been great. I don't know what, nothing in, con, you know, in stone yet, but 
Thank you very much. Thank you.